Hi everyone, good afternoon and a great big welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. Um, this is an adult only colouring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or aimed at children. Okay, so here it is guys. It is the, um, the video of all of my completed pages for the month of August 2020. Um, as many of you know, this has been a really difficult month for me um, and I didn't feel like I had coloured too much really. I just felt like I was kind of jumping around quite a lot but looking at the pile of books to my right, um, yeah I'm actually quite surprised at how much I've accomplished this month. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's just jump in and I will show you what I have completed this month um, and what I haven't that I still need to finish. So as many of you know, I have been co-hosting with the beautiful Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free um, and we have been hosting hashtag HK Colouring Collaboration 2020. So for the month of August, we have been colouring from our... Hannah Carl's on books. Um, I love her artwork and it was an absolute pleasure to co-host this colour along with Debbie. If you haven't checked out her channel I will put the link in the description down below. She is such an absolute sweetheart and a beautiful colourist and she really works wonders when it comes to mixed media. So if you haven't checked out her channel already please pop over, say I sent you. Um, I'm sure she would love to have your company. Okay, so the first page I would like to share with you is from Summer Nights. And this was a work in progress. So this also goes towards hashtag whipping the whips 2020. Um, I have no idea what I started colouring this with. I've got a funny feeling it might be Crayola Super Tips but then if I turn or tilt the book a little bit can you see there's Jelly Roll Glaze here on the blacks of the flowers. There's a little bit of green um, Jelly Roll Stardust on the leaves, the, the light green, I don't know if that's noticeable there um, and then on the beads around the edges that is a pentel hybrid dual metallic um, and then here for the shading I used a little bit of polychromos there's some um, fine liner details here on the roses as well I don't know if you can see I've sort of added like little lines and things just as something a little bit different um, yeah I'm sure I done the shading with polychromos and then the background I did start with pencils and then I left it um, and I couldn't remember what pencils I used or what colours so I erased it and then um, done the background with Derwent ink tents so I'm really happy with how that one turned out this is a forever whip um, I will get back to it at some point and then we did vote or you guys voted in a live stream out of a few pages in here for me to colour on the next stream and this one was voted. Of course it's the end of the month so I didn't get around to doing this um, as you know I imagine many of you may know I've been really struggling with my mental health um, recently and I just wasn't up to filming but what I am going to do I am going to keep this book to the side and I am going to colour this with you very very soon you know I I want to keep my promise you guys voted on this page so this is the page that we shall do so look out for this one on an upcoming live stream or colour and chat okay the next Hannah Carl's on book I worked in was Magical Dawn actually have a list of what I've used on this one as well okay I put paper over it to protect the pastels I don't I'll just show you guys really quickly 
you will see a lot of these these cute little page flags they're little bunnies they came in a set of three there was bunnies black cats and owls um and i was sent these so so kindly by the beautiful kirsty so kirsty if you're watching this sweetheart thank you so much i love them and i use them all the time so thank you so so much um okay where i stuck a different page tag you may be able to see it sort of left residue here so when i was using pastel it's all sort of caught on that bit so i'm a little bit disappointed but hey ho so this page was a buddy color with um the beautiful at coloring by mickey on instagram she messaged and asked if i would like to do a buddy color in one of hannah's books and i was just i'm always so humbled whenever anyone asks if i would like to do a buddy color with them it really warms my heart and i love it i really do so for this page i used castle art pencils pentel hybrid dual metallic statler triplus fine liner um that, i think that was for the dark blue and light blue here and obviously around these bits in here um stabilo point 88 fine liner uh, and then I used a variety of jelly rolls. I used the white, the stardust, the moonlight, um, white Posca, a metallic silver pilot permanent colour paint marker. So, yeah, there's all sorts on this page. If I move it, you might be able to see the glitter and shine a little bit better. And there we go. And... I'm sure this was, um, oh my gosh, the favourite Castell, soft pastels in the background. So there is that one. But I don't have a fixer tip, so that's why I am currently using a piece of paper just to protect that image. So again, not only was that a buddy colour, but that was for the um, HK colouring collaboration as well the next is a jewelry box by hannah carlson um so the first page in here was this one i just kept this really simple and i completed this in one sitting um i'm sure i'm sure i used my castle art pencils on this i'm sure i did yeah i'm sure this is the castle art pencils so i just went with sort of like a really pretty kind of rainbow effect and the same on the jewel um and then i have used a uniball signo gold metallic gel pen pentel hybrid dual metallic black paper mate flare so um, and I think this was, that was either, I've, I've got a funny feeling it was white jelly roll, I think, to go around that. So there we go. But like I said, just kept that one very, very simple. And then the next page, this one, was a buddy colour with my beautiful friend Michaela. Um, and I was actually really pleased with how this one turned out. I used Crayola Super Tips as a base um, and then I went in, I think it was Polychromos on this, I think. Um, and then I've used the um, Metallic Uni Paint Marker in gold for some little accents, a silver Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic there and then in the background i used my tim holtz distress inks and i i was looking through on google for um oh uh poems to do with time and clocks and things and i found this one and i read it through and i really liked it um it's called the old house clock by anonymous um and i wrote this using a 
it was either a Statler Triplus Fine Liner or a Stabilo 0.88 um, because I've got a big storage container um, with all of my old like fine liners and just markers that I don't you know fine fine line markers I don't really use and I think there's a few highlighters and things in there so I'm trying to use up what I have um so yeah I used that for the writing and like I said I'm really pleased with how with how that turned out I thought it was very cute I wanted to give the background sort of like an old rustic um sort of like parchment tea stain kind of effect um and I did drip a few little bits of water on the ink and then wiped it off so yeah I'm really really pleased with that one and a great big thank you to Michaela for asking me to do a buddy colour with her it's it was so much fun and her page turned out beautifully as well okay and then the last page was from Soulmates again by Hannah Carlson and it was a double page spread and this is what I started the month off with <clears throat> was these two and I am so proud of myself for how these turned out so there's those um I cannot remember what I used for her skin I want to say it was polychromos and then I know that I used a Carandosh Luminance um, colour pencil in the colour Buff Titanium to blend the colours um, and add like highlights and things. I used a black Papermate Flare um, green. Um, oh my goodness, I think it was the Ganzai Tambi. Uh, starry colour, no, Ganzai Tambi, um, I think it was either the dual colours or the, um, the pearl colours, I don't know, one of, the, one of the two, um, I used that, Pento Hybrid Dual Metallic, um, gold and silver, um, Uniball Signo Metallic Gel Pen, there's some fine liners in there. there there's all sorts. Um, black jelly roll glaze. So, yeah. And then I used um, Distress Ink for the background. And I got a compass, just drew some circles and went over them with silver Pento Hybrid Dual Metallic. So I was really, really proud of myself for this. Oh, and a white, um, a white jelly roll to put a little bit of highlight on and then as while the ink was still wet I just smudged it with my finger to emphasize that highlight here um I think I've got yeah that's my forever whip in this book <laughs> I'm just I'm not happy with her at all but um I'm really really proud of that one Okay, so that was it for my Hannah Carl's on books. Um, okay, so the next one is, oh my gosh, Romantic Country. Um, this is the first tale. This is by Eerie. And I coloured this one. So on this page, I used Black Widow pencils, Polychromos, Crayola Super Tips, um, Bic Intensity Medium markers, which are water-based, um, some really super-duper budget-friendly watercolours in a palette, um, a black Papermate Flare and gold metallic Uniball Signal. So, I don't know if you can see, there's a little sparkly... Um, butterfly there so that's pentel hybrid dual metallic i think i forgot to mention that it's a little sparkly butterfly but this was just sort of something really kind of simple and mindless and i actually really like how the watercolors worked on the background i really like that and i was just kind of dabbing the colors um 
so yeah I really like the texture actually that that gives um, and I used the watercolours just as a wash on the grass and then added a little bit of shading with pencil so yeah really pleased with that one um, what page is that I've got a page here that's tagged and I don't know why oh this one my son wants me to colour this page <laughs> with the, the little boys camping so he said that's him and his best friend Oliver so I have to colour that one for him <laughs> so very very cute so look out for that one that might be in um, September's completed pages I'm going to keep that one to the side okay the next one is Romantic Country The Third Tale. Again, this is by Eerie. And I, I coloured this one, Tom's Ice Cream. Let me peel that off. Oh, so this was a buddy colour with my beautiful best friend, Tess. Um, and I threw all sorts at this page. I'm not overly happy with the sky um i still think it's very sort of i don't know it's very streaky but overall i love the like the pastel rainbow colors that i've used on it um so up until the sky i was really happy with everything the grass um i was really really pleased i don't i'm not happy about the barrel here but it's done um, but yeah, on this one, I used, what did I use on this? There's some Crayola Super Tips, um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic, um, a gold uni paint marker, black paper make flare, um, there's some silver and gold um oh what's it called uniball signal gel pen i cannot remember what um what pencils i used and then i used um arteza acrylic paint for the background and i used posca white posca for the little dots and stars and things in the background and then I've got a page another page flagged oh this one this double page spread my youngest daughter Emmy wants me to colour this one with the mermaids so this is another book that I need to put aside and work on in September <clears throat> okay please excuse me i'm just going to take a sip of my drink two seconds okay <clears throat> next we have some disney books the first is um moana les tolliers coloriage mysteries this is by Hatchet Jeunesse and I coloured this one of Maui and that was done using Crayola Super Tips and the black paper make flare for like all the little fiddly bits on his tattoos and things. So that's all that one. Okay, and then I completed um, a whip from Disney Kaleidoscopes. And this was a whip for such a long time. Um, so this was completed for hashtag whipping the whips 2020. And I don't know if I, if I can move it so you can see the sparkle there on the rings around the fairies so on this one um i believe when i started it i was using derwent color soft 
Um, I've used Crayola Super Tips, some fine liners. I've used um, gold uni paint marker, black um, paper mate flare, pentel hybrid dual metallic. Um, I can't remember what I used for the shading on here, but um, yeah, really, really enjoyed that one and I'm so proud that that's finished because that has been hanging over me I think since 2018 this one has been hanging over me so there's a little smudge there which is frustrating but that's okay so there's that one oh and I used some um it looks like Posca on the fairies and I sort of made like little sparkles coming out of the end of their wands and some dots and things on her dress there at the end to make that look all sparkly as well. Then I coloured from <clears throat> Disney Mickey and Friends. This is um, Carez Mysteres 40 Colorage Fasson Pixel Art. This is by Hatchet Heroes. And I coloured this one. And this was done with Crayola Super Tips and Black paper mate flare i love this book so much i love how beautiful and vibrant the pictures are i did try the cross stitch method on that one and i, I just didn't i didn't quite like how it turned out i like the, the the bold you know blocks of color so yeah i completed pluto this month and then the other um sort of pixel art book that i worked in was Disney Sum Sum Carrez Magique a colorier. This is by Hatchet Heroes, and I completed this one. I completed that the other night. Now, I love this book. I love Disney. You guys know that. But the only thing that uh, I just I'm not overly keen on in this book. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see if I hold it. Up, so can you see that these are set out kind of like brickwork? So instead of the squares sort of lining up and you just being able to do like columns and stuff, they're not. They slightly overlap as if you would like a brick wall. Um, so then you end up with this on the edges. I just find this one a bit more trickier to work in, if I'm being honest. I've missed out a couple of them. Um, I've just realised I've missed out a couple of blocks. I'm going to quickly do that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I've missed out some number 12s here. On Donald. Can't have that. Yeah, I just find that it's just a little bit more fiddly than the other um, Disney books like this. Like I said, I still love it. It's a beautiful book and it's a lot of fun to colour in. But it's just a bit more fiddly. And this is a book I picked up when I was just struggling. Um, and yeah, I had to sort of come back to that. I think I think that took me like two or three, you know, goes at sitting with the page to get it done. But um, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. <clears throat> the next, oh my gosh, Eerie Patisserie by Carla Mangana. Ah, you guys know I'm such a big fan of Carla and her work. I love it and I just, I couldn't wait to colour a page in here. So I coloured this one and this was using those really inexpensive um, watercolours that I told you about. So it was using those for her hair. And then I used alcohol markers as a base for the ice cream and her skin. And then I've used Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic and Black Jelly Roll Glaze. And then there was a little bit of pencil shading there with Castle Art pencils. The gold here was done with the Gold Metallic Uni Paint Marker. 
There's a little bit of black paper make flare there and some white jelly roll for highlights. But that was, um, yeah, that was so much fun. It really was. I love how that turned out. Oh, and there's a little bit of fine liner here as well and some micron, pigma micron work on her hair just to add a little bit more detail, you know, here, little, little areas. So I had a lot of fun with that one. I think she turned out so fun and I love the sparkles. What's what's not to love about that? That's just delicious. So <laughs> that was from Eerie Patisserie by Carla Magana. Then I worked in mine Spatzagang Dutch die Fleitzeiten. I am terrible at pronunciation. <laughs> But it is the um, sort of like the collection book by Rita Berman. And I coloured this double page spread. Um, and I finished this a few days ago. <clears throat> and I used Darwin Ink Tents on the sand, the water and the sky. Everything else was coloured with... I think this was Black Widow pencils. I'm sure it was Black Widow pencils. Excuse me, like I said, there was some Crayola Super Tips, some um, Paper Mate Flare um, Black there, some Black Jelly Roll Glaze, White Jelly Roll. Did I say Pento Hybrid Dual Metallic? I think I did. Um, and then there's um, um, Jelly Roll Moonlight on the fish as well. And... Hmm. I think the grass was done with the um, Bic Intensity fine liners the water-based fine liners i think it was done with those so can my double page spread um oh and that's a christmas work in progress that's what the other tag is in there okay and then last night i completed a page from pop manga mermaids and other sea creatures this is by camilla de Erico. Um, this is for hashtag colour your hoard. Now I will warn you, I am not happy with this page at all. And it was one of those that I just wanted to get it done and call it good. So this is the page. Um, her hair is Darwin Ink Tents. The seal has a base of Crayola Super Tips and then it has some shading with polychromos over the top. Her skin, her eyes, her mouth, the little shells and things, they were done with um, polychromos. The shells in the background are Crayola Super Tips. And then I used Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic for the starfish at the bottom and the little girl's crown and the seal's crown as well. So yeah, not not thrilled with it. I think my the only bit I do like on it is her hair. I really like her hair and the way her skin turned out, but everything else I'm just mm. but that's that one. And then um I did receive some happy mail this month, and one of the books that I received was the beautiful brand new pop manga cute and creepy coloring book again this is by camilla de Arico. um and i just want to say to the lady who sent this to me again huge huge thank you so so much um this book kept me company one night when i just i couldn't sleep i couldn't turn off um, I just had all sorts racing through my mind and I just I was looking at the pages and just smiling I did color a page, but I spent hours just just looking looking through at the artwork and It helped it really helped so a great big thank you 
so for this I coloured this little cutie patootie so this is for hashtag colour your hoard 2020 and this was all done in um, Darwin ink tents and some polychromos and that was it uh, it didn't it didn't take that long and I just had so much fun colouring these bandages and things and I think this is definitely my favourite page that I've completed this month and it didn't take a lot of effort either um, and I'm just yeah I'm really really thrilled with how she turned out so there's my little mummy there and then I um, worked from A Million Sloths by Lulu Mayo and I coloured this one. And this was a buddy colour with the beautiful Nikki from Nikki in Niagara. And this was Crayola Super Tips Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. And. Duh, duh, duh. Uh, jelly roll moonlight so it was just quick and simple and stress-free but I love how that turned out I think that is so cute and the sparkly flowers at the bottom are beautiful so there is that one and a great big thank you to Nikki for doing a buddy color again with me I really really thoroughly enjoyed it okay and then the next book is a million mermaids Again, this is by Lulu Mayo. And I coloured this one. So this was coloured with Crayola Super Tips. Um, I think it was some Polychromos. I used a little bit of the white, um, not the white, sorry, the Buff Titanium um, Carandosh Luminance. There's some Pentel, a hybrid dual metallic on there, and some uh, Posca as well. Really, really happy with this one. It's very cute. And I'm just, I'm loving sort of pastel rainbows, rainbow colours at the moment, so it's kind of a thing. <laughs> so you'll probably notice that quite a bit on my pages this month. I'm really sorry, I didn't realise that this video was gonna be so, so long, so it it's probably worth you grabbing a drink and a snack, to be honest. We've still got maybe just under half a pile left. Okay, so the next book I worked in was Maui Mermaids and Island Whimsy Girls by Hannah Lynn. And I coloured this page and I just kept this so simple. Um, this was a day when I was really struggling. Um, so I used, I think it was Ink Tense, was it? No, maybe not. No, it was, I tell a lie, it was all alcohol markers on this one all alcohol markers and then um, on these bits here that was a silver metallic pilot paint marker and then um, a silver pentel hybrid dual metallic there for the moon but I didn't I didn't add any pencil shading or highlights I, I just wanted to keep that one very simple so that probably would have been a mixture of my Artex markers and my Tianhao alcohol markers as well. And like I said, that was a buddy colour with a beautiful Zoe over at um, Addicted to Colouring. So there's that one. Um, another book I received as Happy Mail quite recently is the Whimsy Girls Through the Decades colouring book. This is by Hannah Lynn. And my first page in here, oh, I'm so proud of this one. I coloured this one. So on this one, I used a mixture of alcohol markers. And then I've used 
Castle Art pencils to go in with a little bit of shading. I've used the Buff Titanium in the Caran d'Ache Luminance to do a little bit of blending and highlighting. And then I have used some Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic and some Jelly Roll Stardust on the page and some Jelly Roll White as well and Gold Uni Paint Marker. So I was really pleased with how this one came out. I had a lot of fun. I can't wait to work in this book again. The images are absolutely stunning. They really are. They are absolutely gorgeous. So there's that one. Okay, the next is again a relatively new book that was sent to me as Happy Mail. And this is the Christopher Robin colouring book. Um, it doesn't say who it's illustrated by, but I coloured the title page. And this was the really inexpensive watercolours as a base for the grass. And then alcohol markers for everything else. Um, some crayon with super tips. And some... Jelly Roll Moonlight and I think yeah some of the leaves were the um, big intensity medium point um, water based markers but I don't know if you can see but the orange like this orangey red sort of colour it has stained the page that was sort of sat on top of it it's stained it sort of yellow and even though I had a blotter page when I was working where I've taken that blotter page out, it's also done the same to this. But that's okay. That, that can be coloured over. But, um, yeah, I've done the nameplate page and I thought that came out really cute. Okay, next we have some Jade Summer colouring books. So this is the Chibi Horror Grayscale colouring book by Jade Summer and I coloured this one and this was just a really quick and easy mindless page with my alcohol markers and some Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic um, Black Jelly Roll Glaze um, It's a gold, um, I think that was the, oh my goodness, the gold Uniball Signal. There. And some Jelly Roll Moonlight for some little highlights and things on her. So, yeah. There's that one. Then we have, um, again, another Jade Summer book. This is the Intricate Flowers Adult Colouring book. And I coloured this one. And this was done using the um, Big Intensity Fine markers. Um, I think there's some Crayola Super Tip on here. There's Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. And Jelly Roll Stardust, Jelly Roll Moonlight for the orange there. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. It was nice. It's nice and mindless. So, there was that one. And then the last of the Jade Summer books is the Kawaii Grayscale Colouring book. And I coloured this one. Oh, I forgot all about her. <laughs> I forgot about this one. So again, this was alcohol markers, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. Um, and black, I think it was black um, Papermate Flare. 
I don't know if you can see the sparkles there and her skirt and the bits in the background so there is that one and then I coloured my first page in this stunning book I have been so ridiculously intimidated by it this is called Find Colour by Guga Lee and the page I coloured, it was a very, very simple page just to sort of, you know, get me started. I coloured this one. So this is for hashtag Colour Your Horde 2020, which is being hosted by the beautiful Lavella. Um, and on this, I used Darwin Inktense, some Polychromos, um, some of the... Yeah, I used the white polychromos to blend that. And then there's a little bit, a little bit of, um, oh my goodness, um, Crayola Super Tips on there. And then a little bit of white, um, white Posca there and on the waves and things. And even though I used ink tents on this, it didn't really buckle the paper at all. Um, I think because the paper is so thick and it's got such a heavy tooth to it, it handled the water medium beautifully. So yeah, this was all all ink tents and then a little bit of shading with polychromos. So there's that one. Then we have Incredible Cats and Kittens. This is by Colour Questopia. And I coloured this one. And this was done with alcohol markers and Crayola Super Tips. So cute. And again, there's that orange look and it sort of leaves a, a yellow residue on any page that um that sort of touches it and again here even though there was a blotter page between um so yeah kind of like it has in the christopher robin book but again it can be colored over so i'm not i'm not too concerned then i worked in the color by number 3d mandala book this is by sun life drawing and I coloured this one. Stitch. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, I coloured this one, um, and it was using some alcohol markers and Crayola Super Tips. And I think the black paper make flare on that one as well. I've coloured a few in this book now. Love that one. So yeah, really, really pretty. Okay, and then I worked in Mosaic Art Sea Creatures, colour by number. This is by Such and Such Diva. And I coloured this one. And I think it's an eel. Um and I used Crayola Super Tips. For this one yeah there's no alcohol markers this is all crayola super tips on that one these books are so relaxing so yeah really really lovely book okay we have three more books left guys i'm sorry it's been a bit of a a bit of a mission this month hasn't it um okay so again this was another one of my books from my um, my happy mail, um, which I'm so incredibly grateful for. This is the Whimsical World Big Book Colouring Book, 100 Illustrations to Colour. This is by Molly Harrison. And I coloured this one. So this little cutie patootie was completed with alcohol markers. And then she was shaded with polychromos. And then if we just tilt the page a little bit, she has Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic there. 
And then she has the um, Uniball Signo Gold and Silver for the stars and moons on her hat. And then um, I think it was a Statler Triplus Fine Liner for the little lines here on the leaves. And Jelly Roll Moonlight for some highlights. So yeah, she turned out really cute. And then the next two colouring books, they are both by Camellia Angel Cova. This is Mandalas for Relaxation and Meditation. So this goes for um, hashtag Colour Your Hoard 2020. And also um, the beautiful Shana has been hosting hashtag Angel Cova in August. Um, so yeah, Shana in Colourland has been hosting that colour along and I love Camellia's books. They're such a pleasure to colour. So I coloured this one and this was done with um, Bic, hmm, Bic Fine, Bic Intensity Fine Markers, Sharpie Ultra Fine, um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic and Jelly Roll Moonlight. I don't know if you can see the sparkle there. And I used a limited palette. And I really like how this one turned out. I think the colours worked really, really beautifully together. I'm really, really pleased with that one. And then finally, last but not least, I coloured from 101 Unique Mandalas. Again, this is by Camellia Angel Cova. And this was for Angel Cova in August again, which has been hosted by Shana. And I coloured this one. And I think, yeah, some of this was Crayola Super Tips and some of, some of it was the Bic Intensity Fine Markers. And then we do have some um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic action going on there as well. So very, very shiny. So there we go, my lovelies. That was everything that I have completed in the month of August. I honestly cannot believe how much I got done. Um, but I've, I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, one more thing that I do want to do. I've been kind of saving up saving up what I'm what I've sort of used up um I know Nikki in Niagara um she started this I think a while ago um and she was basically showing us along with her completed pages the um the supplies that she had used up that month this is from the last two months I think I do have a few things upstairs that I've completely forgotten about but I just saw this sat there staring at me. I was like, oh, I need to do this. I forgot it last month. So this is everything that I have used up. So I can put my little gold sparkly pencil case to the side now, ready for the next lot of things that get used up. So as you can see, I have used up some Artex alcohol markers in vivid green sand and pale pink i've used up some um pentel hybrid dual metallics i do have two gold upstairs as well that are completely run out so i've used up those um i've used up a white uni posca in pc 1mr micron in 005 i've used up quite a lot of my big intensity ultra fines they're really difficult to get hold of at the moment um so yeah i'm just sort of keeping an eye out for those at the minute but I, I use these all the time so it's no surprise that I get through them quite quickly Oops, there's another one um, and then I got through two of my Statler 326 markers a couple of Crayola super tips 
one of the um, Bic Intensity Fine Markers. This is the uh, the the water based the water based runners. Um, clear Jelly Roll Glaze. I know it looks like they're still um, you know ink in there, but believe me, there is nothing coming out of this little puppy anymore. My black jelly roll glaze. Oh, I get through so many of these. I love them so much. And then these are um, from some of my Chromatech glitter gel pens that ran out as well. So that's the that's the um, little cartridges that have run out, and then they do have replacements in their barrels now. So there you go, my lovelies. That is everything that I have coloured and used up for the month of August. Again, the supplies were from the last two months as I forgot to show some of that stuff last month. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry it was a bit longer than I had intended, but I do hope that you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all again really, really soon. Bye.